high class it cut off on me and so I re I re apologize I went after 30 minutes I just wanted to touch on a couple things about racism and um, this, us being aware as clinicians how we can um, just making sure we have a competence um, there's a lot of different ethic codes that address diversity and so there's a reliance on ethic codes alone does not guarantee multicultural competence and so you can't just be like well based on this code I believe I'm doing this correctly I mean yes there's a guideline there we talk about a uniformity a standard but we need to just make sure that um, we are competent and um, we're going above and beyond to be proficient in this and aware of things like I said not afraid to ask questions in a very honest straightforward way but just being like hey can you explain this to me I don't understand this you know um, and so not everyone does everything like the United States of America if you're unaware of that welcome <laughs> um, however um, we even though this is what we do um, we need to be mindful that other places do things different um, and we need to be challenged we need to challenge ourselves you know when terms like white privilege come up when terms like systemic racism when terms like black Lives matter come up these things are going to come up especially to today's day and age i'm not trying to get political on here be aware of what people are talking about so you understand we need to look into ourselves and say hey what kind of people group do maybe i have a problem with or don't feel comfortable with or has maybe rubbed me the wrong way in the past and so I have a lot of stereotypes about them. These are hard questions. The, the more you take a hard look at this yourself and address the hard things in you, the better you're going to be for the people you come across. You know, it's not easy to look at ourselves and be like, you know what, I say these stereotypes are very clichely say these things or, you know, I have um, run-ins with this type of people group and this has caused me to be a certain way whatever all of us would probably love to say we have no um, sort of prejudice or racism in us and and I hope that's true but there's parts of us that sometimes aren't a hundred percent clear of that right and so we just need to take a hard look at ourselves so that we are best our best version of ourselves for the clients that we come across and we can be open-minded and we can be non-judgmental and non-threatening and that they can come into our office and like I said before sit in a place of pain and feel comfortable right because we can't do that with everybody but we should be able to do that with our therapist and so we want our clients to feel comfortable at ease and um, not feel like they're judged by the person who should be um, non-judgmental right and if we are that way that's where we're going to get in trouble with the law, right? There's an expectation from a legal and ethical standpoint that you are going to be a non-biased person, okay, in regards to um, race, ethnicity, gender, things of that nature, okay? And so it's really important that you check your own heart and check where you're at. Ask yourself the hard values questions. Ask yourself some of these racial, cultural questions so that you are going to be prepared and ready for what's to come. It doesn't matter how you personally feel about some of these topics. What matters is what you do in your office and hopefully the outcome being not a legal or ethical issue. Okay, so I just want to drive that in. I don't want you guys to get into trouble. That's why we're having this class. That's why we're asking you to ask yourself some really good reflection, hard questions so that you're aware and you can be the most competent and most proficient therapist out there. Um, so I hope this all makes sense. I hope none of you are offended. That's not my goal. And that I'm not bringing up these things to heighten some sort of emotional um, thing. Um, I'm just trying to say these are things that are currently going on in our world and that are definitely going to come in your office. So I guarantee it. And so just to be aware of it, um, we want to be competent and we want to be um, the best that we can be. Um, and I think that's it for week three. So sorry, there's a lot of info. If you get a chance to listen to this, I, I hope I hope you enjoy it. Um, I look forward to talking with you all week four.